probably familiar with the major scale, at least one scale fingering. Here's the major scale starting on G. We're going to take this major scale and we're going to play it in different keys. That was in G major. So if we move it up a whole step, now we're in A major. Same scale fingering, different key. Let's move it up again. Now we'll be in C major. So we're going from the fifth fret to the eighth fret. And now we'll play it in D major, which is on the 10th fret. When you're practicing these scales, see if you can use alternate picking. Alternate picking means you're alternating between picking down and picking up. So you'll notice that when I play the major scale with my right hand, I'm alternating down, up, down, up. So it looks like this. Down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up. Now, it's really common when switching to the next string to do two down picks in a row or two up picks in a row. So focus on a real steady down, up, down, up. It's good to count using eighth notes. So every time you pick down, you're saying a number, one. And every time you're picking up, you're saying and. And. So it'll sound like this, one, and, two, and, three, and, four, and. So you're doing a consistent down, up, down, up, down, up. So it's. Down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up. You can even count out loud, which is really, really important. Most people don't do it. I suggest that you count out loud with everything that you do because you'll catch your mistakes more easily because you'll hear yourself say it. And if you play it wrong, then you'll say, oh, that was wrong because I said it correctly. So you can make the downbeats louder if you want when you're counting out loud. You can go one and two and three and four and. That way all your down picks are louder and your up picks are quieter and it gets you into a good rhythm. This is also a great exercise just to get used to playing the guitar because you can take this pattern and move it up and down the entire neck. It's a great warm up to just start on G. After you've played G ascending, you can move your hand up one fret and play the next key, A flat descending. Move up a half step again and play A major ascending. Mm -hmm. 
You guessed it. We're going up a half step again. B flat descending. So this is a great exercise just to get used to playing the guitar, but also learning the notes on the neck, which is really important, and just finding where all the different keys are. So work on moving that pattern up and down the neck, work on your alternate picking, and it'll help you get really familiar with the entire fretboard. <laughs> 